What is the value of the expression 8 squared minus 8 times open parenthesis, 16 divided by 8 times 2 close parenthesis, and all is square? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression has tricked 99% of people. Let's take a closer look and solve it together. To solve this question, many people first go straight to 8 squared. And they simplify this expression to 64 minus 8 multiplied by 16 divided by 8 times 2 inside the parentheses and all is square. And the next step, they perform the subtraction between 64 and 8. And they rewrite this expression as 56 multiplied by 16 divided by 8 times 2 inside the parentheses and all is square. Then, they move on to the expression inside the parentheses and start with the division between 16 and 8. So, they simplify this expression to 56 multiplied by 2 times 2 inside the parentheses all is squared. Next, they do the multiplication between the 2's and rewrite this expression as 56 times 4 is squared. Finally, they do the exponent and simplify this expression to 56 times 16, which gives them the answer 896. Then, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option D. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Also, some other people when solving this question first go straight to the expression inside the parentheses because they believe parentheses have the highest priority among all the operations. And they start with the multiplication between 8 and 2 because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they rewrite this expression as 8 squared minus 8 multiplied by 16 divided by 16 inside the parentheses and all is squared. And the next step, they perform the division between 16 and 16 and rewrite this expression as 8 squared minus 8 multiplied by 1 squared. Then, they go for the exponents and rewrite this expression as 64 minus 8 multiplied by 1. And the final step, they perform the multiplication between 8 and 1 because they believe multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. And this expression simplifies to 64 minus 8, which finally gives them the answer 56. And without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. But I have to say we're tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. To solve this question, we must carefully follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We need to perform all the operations exactly in order from top to bottom according to the PEMDAS rule. So, first we go for the expression inside the parenthesis because parentheses have the highest priority than the other operations. And inside the parentheses, first we have a division sign and then a multiplication sign. It's very important to note that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, we must start from the left and perform these two operations in order. So, first we go for the division between 16 and 8, and write this expression as 8 squared minus 8 multiplied by 2 times 2 inside the parentheses and all is squared. And the next step, we perform the multiplication between the 2's. And this expression simplifies to 8 squared minus 8 multiplied by 4 is squared. Now, it's time for the exponents. Because after parentheses, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, we write this expression as 64 minus 8 multiplied by 16. In the final step, we perform the multiplication between 8 and 16 because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. And this expression becomes 64 minus 128, which finally gives us the answer negative 64. Therefore, option A is the correct answer to this question.